louder. Okay, I can talk yes. a bit louder. That's better. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the communication protocol called uh, Modbus. Who knows what batch is? Okay, so I will start with that. Um, Okay. Uh, as you understand, the 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 uh, the galaxy depend of, on choosing the right protocol for your uh, instrument. So I'm going to talk about uh, a protocol called the uh, Modbus, which is a very uh, simple mo uh, protocol, but it's very good for small devices, <coughs> as it is simple. Uh, now, we saw the movie, and who I am. My name is Yaakov uh, Zamir. I'm a software engineer at Red Hat, and basically what I do is gather metrics from the cloud. Uh, cloud, you know what uh, the cloud is. Cloud is a lot of computers and it's not very visible. And I collect metrics from it. And I used to work in a company that manufactures uh, measurement equipment that measured real life things. It measured electricity, it measured heat. And when I started measuring the cloud, I saw very uh, cute uh, free software for measuring metrics. And I said, we have to do it for real things. So it, we ended up in very nice and very robust uh, um, dashboard for the Internet of Things. And I'm going to talk about these tools Okay, I have to, they're paying for me to come here, so Manage IQ, I work for a free software called Manage IQ. We are on GitHub, we even have a booth here. Okay, so any, I just look at the time. Okay, any uh, gathering metrics will need uh, a we will need these three uh, parts to work. It needs a collector, which is the software that collects the metrics and put it into a, data, a, data, a database. We need a database and we need some program that will show us uh, the data that we collect. And when we start working with clouds, we have a lot of data. So a regular database will start uh, not working so well and we need to uh, replicate and use more, more nodes, more compute nodes for our data and that's why we are not using a traditional data, data, a database, we'll use something uh, like Hocular which is a database <laughs> that can uh, replicate on many nodes. And I think it's time for the demo. Yes. Okay, so the demo, this is the good part. So uh, what we are doing, I have to find my web browser. Ah, it doesn't work, okay. I will start it. And what we see here is nothing. <laughs> I will go to the power meters, which work now. I started it when we started the last talk, so we have half an hour of uh, data. And what we see here is a dashboard. It is uh, it's called Grafana. It is well tested, many people love it, and it's 
really used very much in cloud metering. Uh, so we know it works. And it's very cute to work with. Uh, I don't understand the time here, but I think if we'll have time, I'll show how you play with it. It's very, very cute. Many people love it. And the next thing that I'm going to show is the Hokular database. Mm -hmm. uh, in this uh, demo, I didn't really use Hokular. I used a mock Hokular, which we use for testing, because a real Hokular doesn't play well with one laptop. It needs a cloud to work well. So what you see here are the RESTful API of Hokular, and data is getting pushed. Uh, the data that is getting pushed is what you see here. This is the collector, and it collects uh, uh, electro electric me measurement from a real device that somewhere on the internet, and people pay electricity by these uh, uh, values. So there are real values from a real, uh, a real controller somewhere. Okay. And now, for the really, really tricky part, I'm going to show that this protocol, the Modbus protocol, is very robust, and it works from the box. So if uh, some of you worship, worship Satan or something, it's now time to that. I'm going to try to make it work out of the box. And anyone who ever tried these things will know that it's not easy. Okay. Silence in the audience. Okay. <coughs> I uh, prepared a thing that doesn't look that it's going to work. So this is an ESP. Uh, now you, you, I hope that most of the audience know what it is. And it doesn't, I didn't connect it well, so okay. I, I wanted to make this de demonstration using the Wi-Fi, but I got told that the uh, Wi-Fi doesn't work here so good. So I last night set and reprogrammed it to work on serial. The Modbus protocol is very nice on this. Uh, <coughs> first, it's simple. So it was simple to convert it to uh, working on serial line. And the next thing, it is uh, it has a dialect. So there's a dialect for talking over Wi-Fi, there's a, there's a dialect for talking over serial lines. Hold this, please. OK. <laughs> and now I'm going to start it. And maybe it works, maybe it not. If it will work, it will be very nice. And we'll start. OK. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm really happy. It doesn't work. So what we see here is the temperature of his hand. Oh, hold it. OK. So it will get uh, hotter, I hope, if it's not a zombie or something. <laughs> and you see it's getting hotter. And what we know is that our collector that uses Modbus works out of the box in this very flimsy uh, setup. Um, and now we have the collector. And as I s showed you before, we have the uh, database. And this database is RESTful, use RESTful API to get data into it and get data out of it. And what we see here is getting data in this call is getting data in, and we'll get this are getting data out into our dashboard. And now, when I go into temperature and humidity, we'll get data. And if you say, someone is is a zombie in the audience, <laughs> okay, we'll just uh, uh, make it, and it will. Uh, okay. So we saw the collectors, we saw the database, and we saw the visualizer. And the, the main theme of this is 
There will be talks about message queuing and really fancy uh, protocols to talk between uh, devices. But the old protocol, Modbus was invented 30 years ago. And many devices today use it. As I showed you, the power meter that I showed you is a real power meter. People use it. People pay by what it says. And this is a good protocol. Old. A message queuing has its place. A fancy protocols has its place. But old protocols also has their places. And we get a really nice dashboard. OK. So demo is over. I will close that. Oh, I'm going to close it. And I have to find the uh, presentation. OK. And the next thing. So uh, what we saw here is a very old protocol that works. And it works well. And it comes from a world of industrial controllers where people are very conservative. That's why they still use something from 30 years ago. OK. Uh, for using this model, we used a Node.js uh, client of Modbus, but there are Python client of Modbus, Java clients of Modbus, uh, every language. Of Modbus is very popular and, ha and used. OK. So how you install this client of Modbus to get working? So anyone w knows NPM? Yeah. OK. So all you do is NPM install Modbus client, and it installs the Modbus, Modbus client, and you can start collecting data from a device that knows Modbus. A lot of devices know, know Modbus because it's free. It's, it's not a free protocol, but it's a protocol published, and everyone can use it, and it's cheap. And it doesn't use CPU, uh, CPU and memory. So a lot of devices use it. Uh, you need a database. So you can install a client for a database. This is a client for Hocular. As I said, I didn't use a regular database because I wanted to scale. In, when we're talking about internet, we have a lot of clients. And we don't want something that on our thousand client will start uh, slowing down. We want something that can replicate itself on the internet. As I said, for this demo, I didn't use something that can replicate. I use uh, SQLite. SQLite doesn't replicate well, but it's a good database. And what I did was wrap SQLite in the uh, RESTful API of Hocular. So all my system thinks that it talks to Hocular, but it talks to SQLite. And as you've seen, it works well. Um, and this is all that it takes to get this dashboard working. So it's very cute. Uh, what you see here is a hobby device, an ESP. And it talks Modbus. Uh, you have the code to make it talk Modbus over here. And as I said, Modbus is really used heavily in devices. So you can meet a lot of devices that actually speak Modbus. Uh, many devices speak Modbus, and you, you wouldn't know it because the manufacturer taught it to, to talk Modbus, but it, that in the brochure, it's not sexy to say, I'm talking Modbus. They, but they do talk Modbus. Uh, this is, uh, OK. The red one is how much I left? Or yes, the that's right. It's very confusing. You have to. <laughs> OK. So, uh, what we have here is how the code in this device works. Modbus is a very simple uh, protocol. It simply dumps memory of your device and let you write into the memory of the, of the device, which is very dangerous. So you don't really let people write into 
the memory of your device, you make a setter and a getter, and when the protocol said write into this memory location this data, you, and then you write what you want, or if, uh, For example, you decide that if you write to this uh, memory location, the device will erase its arms, it will do so. It's not have to be writing into the memory. And what we have here is uh, the device and what, what function will run when some Modbus device uh, command is uh, uh, called. The collectors. Okay, so as I said, to get a system that collects metrics and show it, we'll need three components. One is the collector, one is the database, and one is the viewer. And here are examples of collectors. Uh, I think I have the code next. Okay, so you can write a collector in any language you want. But for this demo, I choose Bash, because if you can do it in Bash, you can do it anywhere. It's, it's there. Uh, what we have here is a command for the Bash client. It usually demands a password, and it usually uses a secure, not HTTP, but HTTPS. But as I said, I'm using SQLite and not a real Hocula. Um, The next thing is the Modbus client, and it can read either from TCP or from a serial device. And I all, all, uh, added there a timeout command because things can happen. Oh. Things can happen. Oh. So we need a timeout not to crash our collector because our collector needs to run. It needs to run whatever happens. So we have uh, fail safes on our command, and then we simply collect the data and send it into our database. And data store, basically you can use a simple database, any database, you can write to file, but If you want to really do it on web scale, you need a database that can replicate itself. There's a lot of them, but I use Hocular because that's what I use for collecting metrics from the cloud. Okay, getting Hocular running is not easy. It's depending on, the, on your web. So for this uh, demo, I didn't use uh, a real Hocula. I use a mock-up. We use it for testing. It's not uh, designed to work. All, all the things that I shown in are hard. Uh, they can work. This is the only part that is a testing software, but it works, and SQLite is not as bad as people say. Okay. And Grafana, Grafana is very cute uh, uh, way to visualize things, and you saw it, and we come to uh, questions. Okay, first question is what is this? Uh, this is a water vaporizer and it speaks uh, batching. Okay. Okay.